This is the 2410 Rear Living Room Couples Camping Ultralight by Open Range by Highland Ridge RV, recorded by Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If at any point you like what you see, you want to learn more about it, such as length, God forbid an asking price, anything like that, I have that all published right down in the video description. One click away from seeing first if we have this in stock, second, how it is equipped because there's some optional stuff here this is not a base model and third what we're asking for it now remember the reason i publish things like that right out in the open is because not every single 2410 that we carry is going to look exactly like this one so i make it easy for you folks to see exactly what we do have in stock so that you can see if it's the one you want to take home. I try to be very transparent. You don't have to give us a social security number just to get a price tag from Halet RV. We're pretty simple, easy going folks. And we only do everything at Halet RV. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, accessories, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, <gasps> and everything in between. So more to the point of the matter. We've got a 5,300 pound couples camping machine here uh, with open ranges, uh, three year structural warranty that, to give you that extra protection and peace of mind. What I wanna focus on in this RV are not the areas just like, oh, it has a fridge and a toilet. Boring, everything has a fridge and a toilet. I wanna focus on the unique qualities of this specific RV, the open range ultralight as a whole and the, the unique floor plan characteristics. For instance, they use a little bit different baggage doors and that's something that people go, well, why? Well, you notice how thick this is and it's fully insulated. That means uh, you you get uh, a thermal barrier right down through this pass-through because you know it's right above that pass-through is your master bed. And if you don't have insulated baggage doors, then all the hot or cold air you're trying to keep in the camper is getting out and that doesn't do you any good. You notice too, they have wide and tall baggage compartments. This is big. I should put like a basketball down here so you folks can see that for scope and scale. But my point here is that it, it is uh, great for large cargo. Now, that baggage door, that entry door, that deadbolt, that baggage door, this is on a key to like system. One key operates this whole camper, which is just a nice, easy convenience thing. Um, the, uh, it's, it's become the cool thing to do, have the three quarter cap with the big stone guard. Um, there is a very seamless look, a very edgy look to how they've done this one here at the open range though. That's one of the things we like about them at Halet RV. These guys have a just bleeding edge of the razor modern look to them. And really that's who open range has always been. That's why we carry them at Halet's because if you look around, you're gonna see that we have no shortage of other brands here. Although of course, when I turn around, I'm looking at like nothing but Jayco's, but there's a Coachman, a Winnebago, a Keystone, a Rockwood down there. We carry different stuff. So why does this one punch through the mix? Because there's a lot of people to build a floor plane like this. This one does things the others don't, and that's what I want to hit on. Uh, a lot of ultralights have 20 pound tanks, and there are advantages there. They have opted to go with the 30 pound tanks on the open ranges to give you that greater dry camp capacity, less time between swap outs. Um, the, uh, uh, <laughs> you ever get a call on your watch, guys, when you're doing a video, you got to turn it off with your nose. <laughs> That's how you do it. You do one of these numbers right here. Works like a charm. Anyway, push button, power, tongue jack, which you expect. Push button, power awning, which you expect. Uh, full-blown LED lighting and an easy tilt awning. Those are the extra little things you start to get here. They're not uncommon in the business, but they're not standard, so I do want to point them out. Um... An area that the open range RVs have always just excelled at, and one of our favorite parts about them at Halitz is their underbelly package. And the problem is you can't see it. The problem is you kind of got to take my word for it. Although I do recommend you look up their literature. They very clearly publish how they do this. So a lot of ultralights, it seems like almost every trailer nowadays, has an enclosed underbelly. And that's cool. But enclosed doesn't necessarily mean extra insulated or protected or anything like that. The, the simple enclosure, what that does is it improves your aerodynamics by giving the underbelly a slipstream effect, kind of like the way that the bottom of an airplane is smooth. You, you don't see exposed skeletons on the bottom of an airplane. Same kind of concept. Air goes under the camper too when you transit, um, travel as it were. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, now, on top of that, they have uh, a layer of both radiant foil insulation and uh, residential batten insulation. Those two layers of insulation are areas where most ultralights don't stack up to the open range ultralight. But it's hard to see that. You can't appreciate that because you can't see it. That's why I want to point these things out. I'm wanting to hit on the stuff that's not blatantly obvious. Now, here's another thing. 
A lot of RVs with an enclosed underbelly have a forced air heated underbelly, and frankly, that'll work pretty good. That, there's nothing wrong with that. But with the extra insulation, these guys took it a step further, and they also have a cyclical airflow system. The, the furnace forces air into the underbelly to heat the tanks. It flows across the tanks to keep them warm, and then it has a hot air return, and that's actually what heats the bathroom floor. The, the, so you get cyclical airflow, and you get constant airflow, and that works better than pressurized encapsulated hot airflow. That works okay. This works better. There's okay and there's better, guys. Niceties like this. This is something that they kind of brought over from their uh, fifth wheels. It's a nice little water and cable docking station right next to your rear corner uh, power hookups. This makes sense to me. This makes sense because your your park power post and water and everything's probably right there. This is a 30 amp camper. I believe there's an option to upgrade this to 50 amp. Um, here in the Midwest, in a coach this size, with the, the standard 15,000 BTU air they have in these, they have a bigger air conditioner standard. Although, by the time I record that, they'll change their standards later in the year, and someone will say, yeah, but you said, remember, check our website to see what we have in stock, because it could be different from this one here. Options and things change. This footage tends to live forever, because the internet lives forever. Remember that as time goes, this becomes more outdated. Check the posting date. Um, so, bigger air conditioner, on a coach this size, you don't need to go 50 amp service with a second air. We just, uh, with their insulation bundle on these, we just don't see that across any climate. Florida, Texas, doesn't matter. Here's another very unique, to, uh, well not just very unique, exclusive feature. Open range ultralight has the deepest slide out in the ultralight world. They have a 39 inch deep slide instead of 36 inches. A lot of ultralight slides stop at like 24 inches or even 18 inch, uh, I call them baby slides or shallow slides. So this is potentially more than twice as big as the other slide outs out there. Um, it is also potentially only three inches bigger than other slide outs out there, but that makes a difference. Every ounce counts when it comes to space and storage, folks. Um, it, that is what allows the entire u dinette to be in the slide and not eating into the floor plan space. You'll see that more when we go inside. Now I'm looking here and I see that we've got a, a bumper mounted grill bracket on this one that indicates we have added the outside grill to this camper. That's an option. Remember, the one we have in stock may or may not include that. Click the link in the video description to see the Halo RV website to see what we have in stock. And every manufacturer has found a different way to utilize this corner back here because it's in a spot in the kitchen where you can't get to cabinets. So they all open it up in a different way. Most brands just give you storage here. Open Range gave us a mini fridge. And we looked at that next to the bumper and said, you know, you got a cooktop, you got a, a, a refrigerator. Those are the two main components of an outside kitchen. So this sort of has an outside kitchen thing going on with it. Pretty cool. Now, I, I mentioned on the other side of the camper, but I want to point out again that this does have an easy tilt power awning. You can literally take two fingers and crank that awning down like 10 inches, and it'll stay there. You can push it back up with two fingers. It's just as easy. And if you leave it down and you forget and you roll the awning up or the kids push the awning button, don't worry, guys. It's not going to break. As it rolls in, it flattens itself back out so that when you roll it out, it comes back out normal. You can't break it, you just can't. Also, something just a little different, instead of drilling holes into the sides of their wall to run wiring and everything, they put their speakers right into the awning arms. It's a little different, and everyone says, yeah, but why is that it's up so high? Remember guys, when the awning is out, which is when you're gonna be listening to the outside speakers, those speakers are now pointing down. They're pointing this way, so it makes a terrible amount of sense actually. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> God bless it, allergens. Holy cow. All right. I want to talk about corner trim. Most RVs have plastic corner trim. Case in point. This is what I mean. And there's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this. RVs have been built with this stuff for a very, very long time and it works fine. Open range went to aluminum though. They went to a formed aluminum. Um, because it doesn't suffer from heat expansion and contraction the way that that plastic screw trim could uh, across the way there. That means that this corner stays solid, square, sealed, better, easier, longer. The whole idea here is longer ownership. Um, that is also why they use a different roof membrane. They don't use a TPO or rubber roof on open range RVs. And this is true of the ultralight all the way up to the, the light, the Roamer, and the 3X luxury fifth wheel. Um, it is a pliable PVC membrane. It does not require any maintenance. It does not chalk. It has superior, uh, su superior, superior, that's a combination of superior and severe, which you can look up in a definitionary, um, superior UV resistance, and it doesn't grow black algae. 
and that means no black streaks. It'll drastically cut down on those. Now you're still going to have general dust, dirt particulate in the air, might settle on the roof and wash down a little bit, but it's the black algae that actually creates the worst of the black streaks, so that is handled. Um, you know what, we've done a lot out here. Let's step inside, though I do want to point out uh, the Equiflex suspension, because logically, the whole reason you're looking ultralight instead of standard construction is for towability, reduced weight. Well, if you're gonna tow it, then that suspension helps you tow more smoothly because your leaf springs soak shocks vertically. That suspension system dampens the forward and back herky-jerkiness to smooth out your ride. You know, fifth wheel aluminum entry stuff, a lot of good stuff going on here. Bigger entry handle, standard, all that stuff. Friction hinged entry door, so it doesn't slam against the side of the trailer. And notice, the designers had brains. They made sure you could open the door all the way without hitting the awning arm. They got, they got good people down at open range. They got real good people doing real good work down there. Now, remember, the one we have in stock could be different from what you see here. And something uh, I, I like to talk about on open ranges, and this is one of my favorite parts about them. This is why we keep them here at Halitz. They have a, a very unique slide system. I talked about how it's deeper, but I also want to show you how it's floor flush yet carpetless. And my friends, that is an exclusive thing in the business. They have a patent on this system. They have the only floor flush carpetless slide outs in the business. How about that? So this is just the easiest cleaning thing you could imagine. And of course, when I did all my photos, the batteries were just going nuts and I had good lighting in here. Now my battery box is dying. But that's actually an interesting thing on LED lights compo as compared to incandescents. You still get decent light out of them, even the power's a little bit low. I'd like it to be brighter in here, but it is what it is, and I'm going to move on. All countertops, whether it is this one, whether it is your dining table, whether it is your bathroom or your kitchen, they're all thermal foil countertop. That means it is a sealed edge with a pressed membrane. It's waterproof. That's what allows them to recess this cool fifth wheel stainless sink down here. Um, there are different versions of layouts like this, there, and they all have they all have cool touches. I am not the person that believes that only the campers at Halid RV are the best campers. I think there's good campers, even if we don't carry them at Halid RV. But what I like here is they went with a U-Dinette instead of the standard two bench. I like that for a couple reasons. Um, because they went with a deeper slide out, it is fully contained within the slide, which no other brand is doing. Um, secondly, it allows for full storage under this bench. You actually get more bench storage. And I do like that Open Range actually puts the baggage doors on there. And if you notice, they have hidden hinge cabinetry throughout the whole thing, so it's got a nice, clean, even look. That can also fold down into about a seven-foot sleeper. A pair of adults can sleep on that, not just little kids. So, Grandpa and Grandma, if you're looking for something for the two of you to have a good time, and maybe bring a grandkid, I don't know, once or twice a year, this is your camper every day of the week. And that is why we've equipped it this way. This is usually how we will bring this RV in. Most manufacturers have just a sofa across the rear wall, and there's nothing wrong with that. But we said this is really a lug like a, a small luxury couples camper. That's how we view this one. We try to look at every single floor plan as like, who is this really for? Well, we said, this is for someone who wants to retire and put their feet up. So we equipped it as such. Most brands don't allow you to do this. Open range thinks outside the box, and that's why we've always liked them here at Halet RV. Um, you know, you, there are options for a hide -a bed there's options for a jackknife, but we've, we've got those in other brands. This is kind of unique to open range. That's why we like this here, the, the twin uh, uh, theater style recliners. A little uh, hidden armrest storage in there as well. <coughs> Pardon me. Windows open all over the place. Even these side windows for amazing airflow. So my favorite parts about this model. It's uh, smaller than a, a full super slide rear living room, but you really don't give up anything. Uh, and in some cases you actually gain windows. And again, I, I do like the, uh, the hidden hinge nature of the cabinetry, the way it looks just smooth, clean, uh, very streamlined. And um, I also, I mean, they've got, you know, the shaker style cabinets, the real like residential feeling cabinet poles. These also have um, uh, pocket screwed cabinetry, not stable. The, there's nothing wrong necessarily with stable cabinetry. Remember, there's good and there's better, and this is better. Um, and the skylight letting in some extra light is just fantastic. Now, the kitchen saw a couple revisions over last year. Basically, what they did is they just kind of rearranged where some drawers were. And instead of having just a boring flat countertop, which made this 
feel too tall over here because like if you're sitting in this chair you felt like you had a uh, the great wall of china next to you well they lowered this down so that you can actually like, set your dinner plate or something over there because they didn't need to make it tall because you couldn't access that storage anyway um the uh uh what and i like the level change it creates like a prep station you know, well, I mean, with the, the solid, not solid surface, but basically solid surface effect of this countertop right here, you've got some, some very, very good prep space between everything. And I've had some people, yeah, it doesn't have a stove cover, whatever. I can throw those on here at the store. That is just not a deal, a reason to lose a deal. Um, I do like to point out, too, these sink covers. I love that little finger pull on there, by the way. It's a nice, easy way to get these out. But these things are heavy-duty, solid, thick. They are weight-bearing, so... If you do need to set some heavy stuff on there, you can. Um, if you uh, look, you'll see uh, outlets up there. Sometimes people ask, why do they keep putting the outlets on the bottom of the cabinets? Well, inch and a half ultralight laminated walls aren't really thick enough to run a receptacle. And God forbid you have a wiring problem. Good luck fishing it through a laminated wall. You can still work on this. You can't work on a wall-mounted outlet in a laminated unit. It is extremely hard. You know what? Hold on. I want to open up some of this storage just so that you at least get some idea and i love that and this huge drawer under the oven is standard in every single open range ultralight that's another thing we like about them here at halet rv they go that extra mile they could have just left that a dead pocket like most brands or they could have done what i call the knuckle buster door where it's just a door that falls down and it smashes your knuckles when you try to open it but they didn't they went the extra mile and they did it all over the place this is one of my favorite things in every open range rv close that up all right let me spin around here so we talked about the dinette ad nauseum um really they put the biggest tv you could put on that wall so entertainment is done am fm cd dvd bluetooth system done um you know it's got everything that it needs uh last year they had a sound bar but people kept asking why does the sound bar have bluetooth and the stereo have bluetooth um, the, sh the short answer is try to find a sound bar that doesn't have Bluetooth. The long answer is why did we need a sound bar when we could have just put a nice speaker system in? So this satisfies all that. This makes more sense. Um, vaulted ceiling. I should have talked about that sooner. Don't know if you noticed, but this has a, a, a six inch pitch on the ceiling. And that means it's just shy of seven foot tall at the apex. I think it's actually 610. Um, what that allows for is just that open, airy, breathing feeling. And I don't use fisheye lenses. It, it just really does have the bubble to it. Um, they have a, a very cool stainless appliance bundle in here. Again, the things that are really current and cool in residential design seem to be the things that are on the docket at open range. The stainless, the, uh, the, the, I don't know, gray tones interiors, you know, the driftwood interior that we have here. This is really on the cutting edge of what's popular in residential. So that's what you're finding here in an open range. And by the way, 33% larger, eight cubic foot fridge and freezer. Normal travel trailers still have six cubic foot fridge and freezers. Um, when I start looking around, I see additional details. Easily overlooked stuff. They put a little door stopper down here. They totally didn't need to. It's not like that's it's not like that's a four hundred dollar item or anything. But isn't it nice that this door handle now doesn't smash into things, that your door doesn't get dinged up, that it doesn't crush that thermostat? That's the extra stuff you get at an open range. <coughs> Pardon me. Dang it. Good old Michigan allergy season. All right, so right when you walk in the door, you've got some awesome pantry and coat closet space. This is a hard thing for me to capture in a still photo, so it's one of my favorite things to look at here in a video. And here's another thing I like. I'm in the bathroom. There's the entry door. They're right across from one another. So if you're, th this floor plan is one of the very few that is basically 100% functional going down the road. You can sit at the dining table, you can get to the fridge, you can get to the sink, the bathroom, the bed. If you need to stop and use the bathroom or something in this RV, you can. You know, that's one of the, the coolest advantages of this. Yeah, we still got some battery. There we go. All right, so again, completely carpetless, easy cleaning, and big bathroom. So you got lots of leg room in front of that toilet. And you notice the nice foot flush there. Everything that matters is here. And then, you know, a little bit more. Big fifth wheel size radius shower. And thanks to the arch on the ceiling, even a tall guy like me can fit right in here. No problem. I'm about 6'3 for reference. Folks that have watched me for years, you already know that. Um, okay, not a small counter. Or pardon me, not a small sink, a big counter. 
case in point, you can actually get your hands in here, but you see how much real estate you have around it. And we do have an easy double entry bathroom right here. Uh, so you can get to it from the hallway where I'm at by the entry door for quick ins and outs, or you can get to it from the bedroom up here at night. Um, the uh, bedroom, if you go to 50 amp service, this will be second AC ready up here. Um, uh, right next to that, straight across from bed, we have our TV mounting location. You're probably not going to put much more than like a 19, 20 inch up here, but you're, you're literally 12 inches from the bed. I don't know that you need much more than that. So I'm going to talk about their bed because you're looking at this block and you're like, what, what is, what's going on? Um, this is a convertible queen. Some uh, brands have a camper queen. Some brands have a 80-inch uh, queen. These guys let you choose in between. We've got a camper queen in place, and then you can stuff that little block up in the headboard area, and it converts into a true 80-inch queen. And you will still have room to walk around it. They did plan for that. Some people need a longer bed. Some people don't. Um, I'm tall, but when I camp, I don't mind that my feet hang off the bed, but everyone's different. You know, I camp casually. If you're going to be in this for an extended period of time, you're not going to like that. You're going to want the longer queen. This camper can, uh, can you know, do that. Both sides of the bed have nice stands. This side, uh, well, both sides also have residential outlets. This side also benefits from USB plugs for stuff like our smarty pants, watches, and phones, and everything else. Um, what do we got down here? We've got a laundry chute. I always forget to talk about that. You throw your waste or, uh, laundry basket down there. When you get back home, you pull the basket out of the pass-through, and you're camping. That's all there is to it. There's a lot of good stuff to talk about on these. This is a very popular brand. This is one of the most popular floor plans from this brand. That's one of the reasons that we have it here, and we usually keep it on hand several copies at a time. Sometimes we'll run out. Sometimes we call Open Range and say, hey, it's Halitz. We're out of that thing. Send us whatever you got. And that's why the one we have in stock could be different. This is basically how we like to bring them in. But if you want to bring them in a different way, give us a call. We'll make it happen. There's also a chance we have something else in stock that could do that for you. So no worries, guys. We only do everything at Halitz. Remember that. So, and, and also, you're not too far to buy from Halitz RV. My favorite conversation, I had this with someone uh, a couple weeks ago. Well, my local dealer said you guys were too far away. Oh, they did, did they? They said we were too far away. Isn't that convenient for them? Why do you think they're saying that? I think they're afraid. You give us a chance. Give us a fair chance. Give us a call to earn your business. I don't care where you live. We'll put it on paper. Chances are we end up doing business together. We, we just don't like to lose deals, guys. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.